Cape Peninsula University of Technology's Head of Sports and Management, Professor Simeon Davies, joins us from our Cape Town studio to tell us more about this. Uh, Prof, a very good morning to you. Thanks for your time this morning. Now, we already know, and we know that the benefits of uh, rooibos uh, is something that we've been hearing about, the antioxidant value and all of that. But when it actually comes to boosting athletic performance, you would never think that rooibos would have a part to play. What are you finding? Well, it, it's very interesting. Uh, we've had some uh, results from recent studies uh, based on uh, exercise and performance. And what we found is, is that under certain conditions, uh, the uh, people taking a rooibos before exercise appears to uh, improve their exercise performance. All right, so basically, would you just make a cup of rooibos and have it after doing a, a long bout or a very strenuous bout of exercise, <laughs> or is there a particular way to, to be having, to be uh, in, ingesting this rooibos? Well, I, I think that's the part of the thing. Uh, at uh, CPUT, we've been doing research for nearly 20 years into uh, herbal teas at the Oxidative Stress Research Center, uh, which is headed up by Professor Manwick, and uh, recently, uh, we've combined forces, if you like, to look at whether rooibos would assist uh, during exercise because obviously it would be an interesting topic. And uh, the, 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 the thing about the ingestion is, is that we, we've, we're looking at around the equivalent of six cups a day, but we take it in a, a special dose before exercise. All right. So we also know that you know when it comes to athletics and when it comes to the rules when it comes to sport in general very particular about what uh, we find uh, uh, in these athlete systems uh, prof so is this not going to be a problem do you not see it posing a problem as to you know later somebody coming out and saying it is a performance enhancing uh, um, mm -hmm. a sort of uh, drug at, at some point or do you just see it as that this won't be an issue mm -hmm. Well, I, I don't really see it being an issue. It, it's, it's very similar because one can naturally ingest antioxidants through olive oil, through chocolate, although I wouldn't recommend eating lots of chocolate before <laughs> exercise. But uh, there are lots of substances <laughs> and herbal teas and whatever that, that have oxidative, antioxidant qualities. But what's unique about rooibos is the, it has some particularly unique uh, flavonoids and polyphenols that we think that may make it a different uh, type of tea or herbal tea which may assist and to this end we're, we're embarking on a, a, a particular rigorous study uh, up in Durban at the prime uh, uh, human performance institute at Moses Mabita Stadium and you may be also be aware that um, not only does exercise induce oxidative stress but also high altitude so we're going to use a high altitude chamber and uh, get some uh, participants to exercise on bicycles um, and to see whether or not uh, taking rooibos before the exercise may assist them in terms of performance but also in terms of re recovery. All right, and just to be a bit more specific, Prof, I mean, give us some idea as to what you've actually found already. What did the rooibos actually do uh, for the athlete, for the, for, for the sportsman or sportswoman that, that you've tested it out on mm. already? What happened to the body? How was it beneficial? What, I, what one of the things that people get a little bit overly excited about, I think, is, is taking a pill or a drug or whatever it might be to improve your performance in competition. And any athlete or person involved in serious sport will tell you that all the hard work is actually done during the training. And what we've particularly found is in repetitive bouts of exercise, that the more the bouts of exercise go on, particularly if they're exhaustive, then when the people were taking rooibos, the performance was significantly better in each repetition or set of exercise that follows. And given that most athletes or footballers or rugby players do repetitive bouts of exercise, what we particularly see is, is, is if we can support the findings we found already, is that perhaps through the exercise component, it will boost the actual, actual competition component. So how long do you think it's, it's going to take you to complete the study and how long do you think it's going to take to, to sort of market this and get this as a, as a must-have for athletes? Well, th those are really important questions. So we, we hope to complete the, uh, the, uh, the, the research data collection in the next three months and then we obviously have to do all the analysis and we like to disseminate the uh, information through uh, peer-reviewed uh, forums and journals 
But linked to that is, is that if we do find some interesting results which support the findings thus far, then the potential for the rooibos industry to beneficiate uh, rooibos in a special sort of way would be highly beneficial, uh, given the importance of, of employment of uh, rooibos farms uh, in the Western Cape and the fact that they employ a lot of people in rural areas. So it, it could be a, a welcome boost not only to athletes, if you like, but also to people who work in that particular industry.